Hi again. Uh, let's continue with uh, some JavaScript here. And uh, currently we're working on a tutorial here to create a shopping cart. And uh, in the last two videos, you know, I, I went over the basics of the array and the object. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to continue that and start working on our shopping cart, okay? So uh, let's just delete all this and we'll start over again, right? So what I want to do is I want to create an array to hold my shopping cart, my list, the, and, and I'll call it cart, and it's going to be a list of all the items in the cart, okay? So there it is, var cart. And then it's an empty array because when my shopping cart begins, you know, there's nothing in it, okay? So the next thing I want to do is I want to, um, I want to be able to add objects to the cart. And my objects are essentially going to be, you know, let's let's make one right here. We'll call it an item, right? And an item is will be a JavaScript object, and it'll have a name. You know, maybe it'll be, you know, Apple. And then it'll have a cost, maybe a dollar ninety nine. And then there'll be a count, and this is like how many apples I have in my cart. I'll put uh, three in there. Okay. And, uh, and there's my item. And so now if I want to add this item to the cart, you know, I can say cart dot, you know, push item. Okay. And then if I want to, you know, get at the items in the cart, now we got to be a little trickier, right? So if I say, you know, console dot log cart, right? Let's see what it says, right? Because now we have, you know, essentially two collections, right? And these collections are pretty complex. Like this one has, you know, three items in it, and then I'm adding that one inside the other collection, right? How does that work, right? Let's let's take a look. So uh, what does it say when we, when we log the cart after we've added the item to it, okay? Hmm. Well, you know, JavaScript sees or the console sees like, hey, that's a complex object. Hard for me to write it here. So it just says object. And then it gives you this little arrow. So if you open that up, you can see it says, you know, you know, object is an array. It's got square brackets. I wonder what that thing does. And I guess it just closes it, right? Um, this just shows me the square brackets. It's got an object inside, right? And then when I open it up, it says index zero is an object, right? And then it gets these other properties here. These are special properties behind the scenes, invisible that you don't see, and there's length, right? And then if I open this up further, you'll see that this object opens up and reveals the cost, the count, and the name, okay? So uh, yeah, there we go. So now how do we get at the, the individual elements here? Well, remember, this first object is at index zero, Right, so if I want to get the item at index zero, I can say, you know, cart bracket zero. Let's see what that says, right? We'll refresh it here. Oh, look, well, there's the first one. That's the array with all the objects in it, or the, well, the one anyway, right? And then when we got the first object, it says object, and then it prints the object out. But now, how do I get to the items in here? Well, let, let's do that, right? So what if we say console log, and then we say, you know, cart bracket item zero dot name. And actually, that's kind of nice. I'm using brackets here, um, and it's kind of, it's free. You can download it, right? I kind of like this. Um, if you put a dot there, brackets kind of sees that this is an object, and then it shows me the properties here. So this object at, at index zero has cost, count, and name. So I want to show the name property, so I'll click on that, right? So there you go. So this would be just as if I had said item dot name, right? But since item is the first item in the in, in the, the array, then we can do, you know, array bracket you know, item zero, right? And then we can use the dot from there. So let's take a look now. What does that give us? Oh, it looks like it gives us apple. So that's pretty good, right? 
And then that works for all the other properties too. So we can say, you know, console log, you know, cart bracket zero dot, uh, you know, cost, right? And then it says a dollar ninety nine, right? So, so that's working pretty good, right? I think we can get pretty far with this, right? Um, what happens when it goes wrong? Let's try a couple mistakes here. Console log. What if we said, you know, cart? I mean, you know, you might make a mistake. Like, oh, I want the first item in the cart, so I put a one there, right? And then I say, you know, dot name. Actually, we'll just stop here because that's going to be an error, right? Oh, undefined, right? So if, essentially what we're doing here is we're asking for an item that is out of range, right? So you'll hear that term out of range. Out of range means, you know, our array has one item in it. So if we ask for items that are at position, you know, two, three, four, or any other number but zero, you know, it's going to give us out of range or undefined, right? Let's try another one. What if we said, you know, item, object at item one, and then we said, you know, try to give me name, right? Oh, uncaught error. Can't read property name of undefined. So essentially, you know, undefined doesn't have a property name, right? So let me, let me write that here. So this is what JavaScript is trying to do, right? Look, cart item one is giving us undefined, and now we're trying to put dot name on the end as if undefined was an object, right? Okay, so this is going to throw an error, and that'll essentially, when it turns red like that, that'll essentially break our program and none of the other JavaScript will work. It's okay to ask for an, an item that's out of range of, of the array, so we can do this and get an undefined, and that's okay. And we can even test for undefined when we, you know, if we're, if we're looking for something, right? We might, we might expect that we might get an undefined, right? But we can't ask for properties of an undefined. Okay, so keep track of that, because that comes up a lot. Um, so what else can we do? Well, what if we did this? What if we said, um, you know, item zero? So that works, right? But then, you know, I'm asking for cost, but... You know, I write price instead. <clears throat> so how, how's that going to work, right? Oh, undefined. Huh. Funny, right? So with, an, with a, an array, if we ask for an item that's out of range, then we get an undefined. With an object, if we ask for a key value that doesn't exist, we get undefined, right? So remember that, okay? So anyway, that's this is kind of how our array um, and item shopping cart thing is going to work. We're going to have a cart that'll be an array, and then every item in the cart will be an object, right? And it'll have a few properties. And we might add some more properties. I can see adding, you know, maybe the ID number here. You know, maybe this is ID number 22. We might have a total cost, right? That might be, you know, the count times the cost here right? Because that would be the total for this item. Uh, you know, we might have more, you know, maybe there's discount or some other feature, right? And, you know, if you think of properties that you might want to add beyond what I do, then you should try and add them all, by all means and test them out for yourself, okay? So anyway, so we'll stop here for right now and then we'll continue in another video. Thanks for watching.